Hey everyone, welcome back. This second video is going to show, show how to clean and prep your steer tube to install the Jojack 951 steer tube plug. Now I've already cut this steer tube down, lowering the stem as far down as it can go, which is the fit I'm looking for on this bike. I've trimmed my steer tube to just slightly below the top edge of my stem. That's just to account for the thickness at the top of the steer tube plug. In your kit, you should have received some Loctite 680 and a single use container, a piece of emery paper, as well as an alcohol wipe or two. So, first step in preparing the steer tube, I'm going to remove these handlebars them out of the way. You're going to take our emery paper and just lightly sand the ID of the steer tube. All you're looking to do is take away a little bit of the outer surface of the epoxy, giving a better surface to bond to. Get down deep enough for the depth of the plug as well. Okay. Should be good. Next, we'll take our alcohol wipe. Working very quickly. We're just going to clean out the inside of that. Basically, get rid of all the carbon dust that we just created inside of there. Make sure you go lower than the plug will install to ensure that we're nice and clean on the ID. Next, we're going to take our plug and our one-time use tube of Loctite 680. Pop the cap off that. Set that aside. I'm going to take the 680 and generously apply a bead around the leading edge of our steer tube plug. I'm going to apply a similar bead around the leading edge of the fork itself, taking care to not get any on the outside or otherwise. Okay. Once that's done, take the steer tube plug and with a twisting motion to make sure that that 680 gets dispersed evenly and drop it all the way down in. And that's it. We're going to let that set up for ideally 24 hours plus, up to 72 hours to get max bonding strength. I believe Loctite says 6 hours at a bare minimum. After that, we'll be able to install the stem and set the preload. Alright, hope you learned something. Thanks. Bye.